Auntie Skipper will be here any minute to babysit you. I want you both to be on your best behavior. Are you really going to trust Auntie Skipper to babysit us? Yeah, she's always on the phone talking to her boyfriends like, Oh, Greg, I miss you. Ugh, barf. I'll talk to her about being on her phone. And this is going to be the first time she babysits baby Zoe. So she's probably going to need your help. <laughs> Why would she need our help? She should know more about babies than we do. Where are you going anyway? Why can't we come? Your dad and I are just going to run some errands. We won't be gone very long. And you would be bored if you came with us. Who said I'm not bored here? Let's play another round of Candyland. Only, I don't want to use these little characters anymore. I want to use my doll. All right, fine. If you're going to use your doll, then I'm going to use Bumblebee. You can go first. Two blue. One, two. One purple. Boom! Yay! I got the peppermint card! Whoa, already? That seems pretty suspicious. Boop! See, it doesn't get me that far ahead. Sweet! I got the lollipop! Yeah, come on, Bumblebee! Out of my way, babe! I'm going to the finish line! Aw, man! <laughs> hey, guys! I'm here for babysitting duty! Thank you so much for coming, Skipper! Do you want to play Candyland with us? Me and Bumblebee are dominating. Um, no thanks. Teenagers these days are just like zombies. I know, right? Hey, maybe she'll play with the walkie-talkies with us. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, Auntie Skipper. My dad got us walkie-talkies. Watch this. Hey, big guy, are you there? Uh, what is it, Tommy? I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> All right, big guy, good luck in there. Over and out. See, Auntie Skipper? It's so much fun! Sorry, Tommy. I'm just here to keep an eye on you. But you guys can play. So Ken and I won't be gone long. But if you don't mind staying off your phone, I'd really appreciate it. <coughs> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I just have a lot of school projects coming up. Barbie, I'm ready to go. All right, guys. We're going to head out. Remember what I said. Be good. Here you go, Zoe. Here's your favorite unicorn toy. Mommy and Daddy will be back soon. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye. So, Auntie Skipper, what should we do first? Sneak some candy? Dress up in Mom's clothes? Maybe we can look for some candy later. I'm trying to text my science partner. Who's your science partner? Roger? Billy? Or Jordan? Ooh, he's so cute. <laughs> you guys are so silly. My science partner is a girl. And she's been out sick for a couple days, so we're really behind. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh-oh, the baby's hungry. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll go make you a bottle. Are you guys hungry? Can I get you anything? No, thanks. But we'll watch Zoe while you're gone. Great, thanks. I'll be right back. Remember when Auntie Skipper used to be fun? Yeah, now she just cares about her phone and science projects. I have the greatest idea. Let's prank Auntie Skipper. How? Let's hide Zoe. She'll think she lost her. Serves her right for being a lousy babysitter. That's a good idea. I know, right? And we can use the walkie-talkies to communicate. So as Auntie Skipper looks around the house, we can just keep moving Zoe. That is so brilliant. I know, right? Okay, I'll go hide Zoe in a safe place. I'll be right back. Come here, Zoe. Let's play a fun game. Let's go hide in your room. Don't worry, Zoe. You'll be safe in here, and I'll be right back. Here's your unicorn. I'm back. Hopefully this bottle's the right temperature. I didn't want to make it too hot. Hey, where's Zoe? What? What do you mean? Auntie Skipper, did you lose the baby? What? You guys said you'd watch her while I made her bottle. Well, that was a terrible decision. We're not very responsible. She's just a baby. It's not like she got up and walked away. She probably just rolled into the bathroom. If she's in there drinking toilet water, you're going to be in trouble. I'll check the elevator. You check the bathroom. Thanks, Isabel. I'll go move Zoe. Make sure you let me know everywhere Auntie Skipper goes. Okay. Zoe, are you hiding in here? Auntie Skipper has a bottle for you. Oh, no. Tommy, she's not in the bathroom or by the pool. Uh, yeah, she better not be by the pool. She's not the best swimmer. Where should I look next? Maybe she took the elevator up to her room. I don't even know how that would be possible. 
but I'll go look. She's heading up to Zoe's room. Over and out. Roger that. I'll move down to the kitchen. Zoe? Zoe, are you up here? She's not under her crib. And she's not in the closet. Where could this kid be? I guess if she somehow did get in the elevator, she could be down in the kitchen. Uh-oh, we have to hide quick, Zoe. I think I hear the elevator coming. Shh. Zoe, are you down here? I can't believe I lost Barbie's baby. She's going to be so mad at me. I have to call the police. I've already looked everywhere. Hi, I'd like to report a missing baby, please. 219 Malibu Road. I'll send somebody over right away. Thank you, ma'am. I'll go wait for the police officer in front of the house. Oh no, Zoe, she called the police. Shh. Quick, Tommy, we have to put Zoe back where she was. Auntie Skipper freaked out and called the police. What? I got a report of a missing baby. Where was the last place you saw her? Upstairs in the living room with her siblings. Come with me. Hey guys, a police officer is here to help us look for Zoe. <coughs> Wait a minute, she's back? Where was she? Uh, what do you mean? She was here the whole time. What? No, she wasn't. Is this the baby that was missing? What do you mean she was here the whole time? Uh, no, I mean, I mean we found her. Uh, your story's changing. Where'd you find her? The kitchen basement. I mean basement. Something fishy's going on here. Tell the truth, kids. Uh, all right. We were playing a prank on you, Auntie Skipper. We wanted to make you think you lost Zoe, because we were kind of mad at you because you weren't playing with us. What? That's not a funny prank. That's not a funny prank at all, kids. Did you ever hear the story of the boy who cried wolf? No. Did he live happily ever after? No. Ma'am, if all the kids are accounted for, I'm going to head out. And I don't want to hear any more false reports from this house. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry about this. That's all right, ma'am. You didn't know it was a prank. You did the right thing by calling the police. Have a nice day. Why would you guys do this to me? I almost had a heart attack when I thought Zoe was missing. We're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. I didn't think you'd call the police. We just wanted to play with you. Well, I'm sorry, but I wasn't purposely trying to ignore you. I told you, I have some really big projects coming up at school. We're really sorry. I didn't think it was going to go that far. I believe you, but I'm still going to have to tell your mom, and she's probably going to ground you. Well, that's okay, though. I guess we deserve it. I'm sorry. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and go to our channel to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye!